Central California. This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live. Happening now, it is very foggy at 6 a.m. as you take a look from Fresno County. This is a live look from east of Fresno along Highway 180 near McCall Avenue. You can see it is foggy out there. Those lights pretty blurry in the fog. We do also have foggy day school schedules running at the bottom of your screen, so you want to check that out before you head out the door. Yeah, we want to show you some other vantage points throughout the valley. Let's show you the north and the south valley. You see Merced in the upper left-hand corner. Pretty clear there, but you take a look right at Visalia, and it is foggy out there. Also, downtown Fresno looking foggy too, Tony. Yeah, same situation in many areas across our valley, but we went on check-in with Alina Lee and our exclusive fog tracker. Alina, pretty thick in certain areas, right? Yeah, that's right, Tony, and good morning to you at home. Very thick fog out there this morning and a little bit frosty as well. With temperatures at or below freezing in some locations, so you may be waking up to some patchy fro fog and some frost. Right now, your dense fog advisory, that's in effect until about 10 o'clock this morning because the fog is pretty thick and reducing visibility down less than a quarter of a mile in many locations. So the National Weather Service has us on, in place basically from Merced southward. Looking at Fog Tracker now, you can see visibility down near a couple hundred feet or lower than that in Visalia. Quarter mile visibility now in Hanford, 10 in Tulare, and two and a half right now in Porterville. Looking at uh, about to the north and west, Merced dealing with some thick fog just out of the airport there, uh, reducing visibility down near two and a half miles, and still very thick fog here in Fresno, visibility just above a tenth of a mile. Looking at your temperatures, cold start to the day compared to yesterday morning, definitely much colder out there. 35 already in Fresno, 30 degrees in Hanford, 38 in Visalia, 42 degrees in Porterville, 31 in Madera, and 33 in Merced. Very cold start to day this morning, but we are going to warm up later on in the work week and see a chance for some rain. We'll have all those details coming up a little bit later. For now, Tony, I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Alina. New this morning, a crash that killed a pedestrian in Porterville is under investigation this morning. Officials say 41-year-old Vivian Gomez was hit by a car and killed near Plano and Chase around 8 o'clock last night. The driver who hit Gomez stopped to try to help him until medics arrived, but he ended up dying at the hospital. Investigators say Gomez ran out in front of the driver, which is why the driver isn't expected to be charged. Well, three men are facing murder charges this morning for killing a woman in Mendota Friday. Ruben Escobar, Carlos Cruz, and Darwin Gomez were all arrested yesterday. Their photos have not been released. The three are accused of shooting and killing 46-year-old Marty Seppi outside of her home near Stamilis and Fifth. Investigators say the trio was pulled over minutes after the shooting and had been detained until their arrest. It's unclear when they could be in court. Developing news from Louisiana, a sheriff is defending the choice to delay the arrest of a suspect accused of murdering former NFL player Joe McKnight last Thursday. 54-year-old Ronald Gasser was re-arrested on manslaughter charges yesterday. He was first taken into custody Friday, but was then released without being charged. Officials say Gasser was let go even after he admitted to shooting the running back during a road rage incident. The department handling the case is now getting nasty feedback. It's not fair for him to be called you punk ass uncle coon. We saw you sell out to them, you rat fat punk. Gasser claims McKnight was threatening him when he fired the shots. It's unclear so far when he'll be in court. New video from overnight of a flight that was forced to make an emergency landing in Mississippi. You can see this cell phone video right here. The oxygen masks were deployed because of some kind of problem with the air in the cabin. The Southwest flight was headed from Atlanta to Houston when it was forced to divert to Mississippi. The flight landed safely. No one was hurt. Southwest Airlines is still trying to figure out what went wrong. A bill in Congress that could help Valley farmers deal with the drought is now facing backlash this morning. Senator Dianne Feinstein added a proposal to a water infrastructure bill this week, which would lift environmental pumping limits. That means local water districts would be able to capture more water during storms. But Senator Barbara Boxer blasted the plan, saying she's against any changes that would threaten salmon in the Delta. When the waters start flowing into the Delta, decisions have to be made. So if we have any opportunity to move that water while it's available, this is the time. It surprised me, particularly on the water issue. In other words, they can have disagreements on other issues, but I think California, particularly the farming interests and the local, you know, Central Valley uses are together on this thing. A group of Valley farmers will send a petition to the Capitol today asking lawmakers to pass Feinstein's plan. 
Congress is expected to vote on the bill this week before heading out on their holiday recess. And new this morning, in about an hour from now, Senator Barbara Boxer will give her farewell speech today after serving 24 years as a U.S. Senator for California. Senator Boxer is expected to take some time at 7 a.m. to reflect on her four decades in public service. Boxer is taking a break from politics and will be replaced by current Next. Attorney General Kamala Harris. Action News Time 605. Still to come, we are live with the prestigious award given to Donald Trump just a little while ago by Time Magazine. Also ahead, what we're learning about the cause of that devastating warehouse fire in Oakland. Why a kitchen appliance can't be to blame. Plus, the violent case of road rage caught on camera in Fresno. You'll hear from the woman who was attacked by another woman with a cane. But before we go, let's take a live look at the North Valley from our Merced Skycam. Not funny there, but it is in other parts of the valley. Alina Lee is tracking it next. This portion of Action News is brought to you by She Nails and Spa. Your nails will dazzle with a manicure from She in River Park. An amazing variety of gels and acrylics to choose from. Pedicures follow the strictest sanitary procedures in the industry. Treat yourself or a loved one to She in River Park. Find your rug fall fashion now at Village Shoes. New styles, new colors, and of course your favorite classic short and talls. Visit VillageShoesFresno.com or like us on Facebook. Ugg from Village Shoes, near Macy's in River Park and on the northwest corner of Bullet and West in Fresno. Dr. Kay Riolo has chosen a very definite path for her practice. She's particular about the care she provides and the level of quality patients receive. Dr. Riolo performs all injectable procedures herself. A board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Riolo has seen that her training and experience make a difference for her patients. To learn more about the benefits of Botox, Juvederm, Kybella, and other injectables performed by plastic surgeon Dr. Kay Riolo, go to abc30.com slash medical specialist. Coming up, Alina Lee with the exclusive Storm Warn 30 forecast, the fastest, most powerful weather tracking system in Central California. How do you fix a stuffed up sink? I found ferns plumbing online. No! I can handle this myself. You really ought to visit fernsplumbing.net. No, 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 no. I can see the problem right here. All I have to do is just tighten this up and... Did you mean to do that? Don't judge me. Let Verns see what's actually clogging your pipes. Get $50 off our video inspection services on up to a 4-inch sewer line for your home. Action News is on the gridiron. Friday Night Football. Covering the Valley's biggest high school matchups. Scores, highlights, and analysis. The Valley's best coverage of high school football. Friday Night Football. Only on ABC 30 Action News. Sponsored by Me and Ed's Pizza. Me and Ed's, because the magic word is pizza. And right now, you can get a large three-topping pizza for just $11.95. Your home deserves the best. Furnishings from Janine's Furniture Gallery in downtown Visalia. Browse over 6,000 square feet of luxurious yet affordable elegance for every room of your home, including stylish, unique accessories and accent pieces to complete your decor. Merry Christmas from Janine's Furniture Gallery, 220 West Main Street in downtown Visalia. This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live with Amanda Venegas, Tony Cabrera, and Alina Lee with the Storm One 30 forecast. Welcome back here at 608. It is a foggy day and being new to the area, I thought I knew what fog was until mm, yeah. this morning. We can see even more, but you know, <laughs> yeah. it was the kind where you had to slow down and roll down your window. Real you said, slow, right? yeah. I mean, I, I had to look at the lines in the corner of my windshield to be able to know that I'm going in the right way. Yeah, definitely got thick further into the morning that we got, and uh, it is still very thick out there, and now even denser in some areas in the North Valley. So it's getting even worse out there, especially if you live in parts of Merced, where visibility has been reduced now to four miles. Same story in Madera, but here in Fresno, the fog has been the thickest all morning long. We're basically seeing visibility down below a quarter of a mile. Now in Visalia, even denser fog there, reducing visibility 
down between 500 feet, even lower than that in some locations. Hanford visibility down reduced to about a quarter of a mile, two and a half mile visibility in Porterville, nine now in Lemoore. So not everyone's seeing visibility at perfect condition at this time. And it is cold out there, perhaps even frosty in some locations. You can see there may be some frost, especially in the South Valley near Lemoore and Hanford, both right around 30 to 31 degrees, 31 in Madera, 35 in Fresno, 34 in Merced, and uh, Visalia, 38 degrees. Porterville, our warm spot this morning at 42. Looking at your satellite and radar, we're showing you this because we do see some clouds streaming in from the west. Those are going to continue to push through the area and increase throughout the day today. So you may not see a whole lot of cloud or a whole lot of sunshine this afternoon. We're expecting partly to mostly cloudy skies across the valley floor and parts of the Sierra and foothills. Your futurecast model showing you that by 11 o'clock today. And then as we head through this afternoon, there will be a chance for some snow showers in the higher elevations in the Sierra. Otherwise, the rain will return as we head through tonight into tomorrow morning. This is overnight, 1 o'clock up until about 7 o'clock in the morning. You may encounter some light scattered showers out there throughout your commute and then heading into the afternoon scattered light rain continues through the valley floor and some snow showers in the higher elevations upwards of 8,000 feet perhaps even higher than that. Now looking at uh, your valley forecast for today expect temperatures in the low to mid 50s increasing clouds around and in the foothills partly to mostly cloudy skies temperatures in the low 50s. All right, now looking at Sierra forecast, rain and snow showers possible late this evening, heading into tomorrow and through the rest of the weekend, or through the rest of the work week heading into the weekend, temperatures will be in the 40s. Your weekend first before we get to your seven day, 59 on Sunday, so we do dry out. And we even get a little bit warmer. You can see that on your seven day forecast as early as Tuesday of next week, we'll be in the low 60s everywhere. All right, now we're gonna take a look at those roadways with CHP officer Justin Montooth. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Alina. Good morning, everyone. Let's go to that live traffic tracker and take a look at your morning commute. I do have a crash from earlier here in the Fresno area, State Route 180 at Reed Avenue. We've got a semi truck versus a pickup truck there. Uh, they have been moved out of the roadway, but uh, it is foggy in the area, so please be careful. Watch out for that if you're heading through there. Moving down to a wide shot of the Kings County area, the 198, 41, and 43 are in the green right now. We do have some dense fog down there, so please keep that in mind. You may want to leave a little early, give yourself a little extra time to get to work. Taking a live look here in Fresno, southbound 99 at Belmont Avenue. As you can see, that traffic is picking up, but is moving at the speed limit. That's going to be a quick look at your traffic. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone to please put those cell phones down. And please keep your eyes on the road. Amanda and Tony, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thanks so much, Justin. Action News Time is now 612. Up next, our exclusive chat with Derek Carr and what he says about the Raiders' latest come from behind victory. Plus, from the football field to the basketball court, we're going to show you Carr's hot hand from three point range next. And I'm Vanessa Vasconcelos live in Fowler at B-Suite Citrus where they are facing some challenges with this cold weather, but we'll show you how they're thriving and making a name for the Central Valley. This is the Action News Community Calendar. Hello, I'm Margo Kim. Enjoy the spirit of the holidays. The second walk night at Christmas Tree Lane is Tuesday, December 13th. If you buy a ticket for the shuttle, proceeds will benefit Tree Fresno. The shuttle leads from Fig Garden Village. Sweet Fest is this Saturday at the Tower Theater. Watch homemade recreations of popular Hollywood movies. It's a ton of fun and admission is free. Submit your local events at abc30.com. Click on Community. The honey bake to me is the best ham that I've ever bought. Store bought just don't get it. It's delicious. I love the, the juiciness. Makes your mouth water. Succulent, tender. There is something special about it. Yeah. The only ham that I buy is honey bake. The Valley's favorite nutcracker is coming to Fresno Soroyan Theater on December 10th and 11th. Don't miss the Valley's greatest holiday tradition. The Nutcracker will thrill your inner child. It's an epic good versus evil story that has become the must-see event of the season. The Nutcracker. Three performances on December 10th and 11th at the William Soroyan Theater. The Nutcracker. It's the Lazy Boy Two Great Chairs event. Get two great chairs for one low price. It's your choice. Match them up or mix it up with pairs starting from only $5.99 plus special financing. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. And that's why I trust Valley Children's for all my son Dallas needs. Next question. Is he a quarterback like you? Well, Dallas is only two, so. And you're a superhero? I'm not, but the people at Valley Children sure are. They helped my son get better when few others could. Last question. Who's the better quarterback, you 
or George? I think it's pretty obvious, right? George! Valley Children's. Futures worth fighting for. Stand back, you hear? Oh. Mm. Break out the syrup, because Denny's new fluffier, tastier, better Rudolph pancakes are here for the holidays. Need a doc for Botox? Dr. Waldrop with the MedSpot IQ is the right choice. Keep those wrinkles at bay. Call Dr. Waldrop today. We got our first Honey Bay Camp six years ago, and now Thanksgiving is not complete without the Honey Bay Camp. It doesn't taste like what you would buy at a grocery store. It's very affordable for all the work and the quality of the product. No better cost benefit. The only ham that I buy is Honey Bay. Garrett Carr showing his skills out on the basketball court Monday night at the Warriors game. After he made the shot, he immediately went and met the mother of Kevin Durant. The Warriors invited several Raiders players to the game, and they ended up shooting around afterwards, which led to that sweet Carr three-pointer. Man! He's an all-around great athlete there. Seriously. And, and, and speaking, look at that. <laughs> speaking of Carr, the Raiders take on the Chiefs tomorrow night in a high-stakes divisional matchup. Yeah, the former Bulldog hoping to lead the team to their seventh straight win. And this week's QBNA Action News Sports Director Tommy Tran asked Carr about Sunday's comeback to take down the Bills. Man, it was, uh, you know, everything came together for us. You know, in the first half, we felt that, um, you know, we weren't, you know, making the plays we usually make. You know, we, were, we had too many penalties, you know, hurting ourselves. And uh, even though we had nine points, I feel like we left a lot more out there. And, you know, everyone felt the same way, and we all believed that, as long as we just go back and you know focus on our fundamentals and do what our coaches teach us to do, then we can go out there and score some points. And you know we were able to go and score 29 unanswered. It was pretty cool. Derek, how's the hand? How's the pinky? It's doing good. It's doing good. I got it, buddy, taped uh, just so Dallas doesn't uh, you know run by and knock it out again. But uh, no, it's doing good. All right. Before I let you go, we have our fan question, of course, and this person is going to win a signed autograph from yourself. We have a picture, and it's from Tiffany. Jepson on Facebook and she asked you how special was it for you to support Valley Children's Hospital with your cleats on Sunday? Do you hope you can wear those personalized cleats in future games? My understanding is you get to wear those and then auction them off for charity, but how cool is it? You know, the NFL is known as the no fun league, but for one week you guys got to rock some custom cleats. Yeah, I think it was really cool. And obviously, uh, Valley Children's is, you know, near and dear to my heart. You know, I'll do anything. I, I do do anything, you know, for them, uh, you know, Heather and I, and also, you know, David and uh, Melody, they're involved with us uh, in that. So, um, you know, it, it's just uh, close to our hearts because of that's where Dallas had his three surgeries and, uh, you know, he was taken care of there. And, you know, Valley Children's, uh, you know, we say it all the time, they helped, you know, save our son's life. You know, obviously we give all the credit, you know, to, to God, you know, for giving us a place that close, for giving us the best surgeons. But, you know, they, they, they went to work and, you know, did a great job of taking care of him. So anything that I could do, you know, by playing football, whether it's wearing some cleats or, you know, maybe it's the touchdown thing, whatever we can do um, to help them, we're always going to help them because we love our relationship with them and we praise God and thank him that there was a place like that close, uh, you know, for our son. How about looking around the locker room, seeing all the cool cleats? Was there one specifically you said, hey, that was a pretty good design out there? Yeah, Crab. We crab Crab's cleats were ridiculous. We told him he looked like Michael Jackson. You know, I think the only thing he was missing was a glittery glove, and you know, I think that would have set it off. <laughs> A glittery glove. Yeah. Okay, you can see the whole conversation between Derek and Tommy at abc30.com or on our mobile apps. All right. Well, today, as we wake up, look out the window. It is foggy today. Yeah, I mean, I was driving through thick fog, going through, you know, the country roads trying to get to work, and you got to be careful out there. Yeah, and even on the 41 in central Fresno, I encountered some, too. So I know we're tracking the latest this morning. Foggy day, school days rolling in, Sanger Unified, Pixley, and also Kings Canyon Unified also experiencing that. And we have that on the bottom of your screen as we uh, move along on this Wednesday morning. So let's check in with Alina Lee. She's tracking those fogging conditions up and down 
the, the valley this morning. Hey, Alina. That's right, Tony. Hey there, and good morning to you at home. There is definitely some fog out there. It's very thick, especially in portions of the North and South Valley. It's been very thick out there, though, in Kings and Tulare County, though, mainly between Hanford and Visalia. Visalia this morning, visibility down near 500 feet, could even be lower than that in some isolated areas. Hanford seeing visibility reduced down to a quarter of a mile, two and a half mile visibility now in Porterville, four miles in Madera and Merced, and still down near less than a quarter of a mile here in the city of Fresno in the airport near the airport there and in the downtown area where the fog is thickest. Be careful on the roadways this morning. That fog is still going to be very thick throughout the next several hours. And that is why the National Weather Service has our area under a dense fog advisory in effect until 10 o'clock today. 35 degrees already in Fresno, so a little bit warmer than earlier from that 32 degree mark we hit just a couple of hours ago. 30 right now in Hanford though, 31 in Lemoore and Madera, 34 in Merced, 38 in Visalia, 42 in Porterville. Not only are we dealing with fog, but you may encounter some patchy frost, especially on those cars this morning, perhaps even on those grass, uh, grassy fields. But otherwise, watch for the fog to lift and the frost should uh, at least evaporate for the most part and melt as we head through lunchtime today where temperatures will be above freezing everywhere. Once we get in through about 5 o'clock today, mostly cloudy skies across the valley floor, a chance of some snow showers out in the high Sierra, and it looks like rain chances continue through the evening and overnight hours into tomorrow morning where scattered light rain is possible across the Central Valley and heading into the afternoon hours Thursday. Rain and a mix of snow possible from the foothills up towards the mountains and scattered light rain possible across the valley floor throughout your Thursday afternoon. Friday, another round of rain continues on, so we will see those rain chances continue from not only tonight into tomorrow, but all the way through the end of the week. Air quality report is moderate between Merced and all the way southward into Tulare County. Your burn status, that it means there's no burning unless registered for Madera, Fresno, Kings, and Tulare County. Today's forecast does call for some low to mid-50s, though. Overnight, look for a chance for some few showers out there. Otherwise, upper 30s to low 40s, so not nearly as cold as it has been this morning over the next several days. All right, Tony, Amanda, I'll send it back to you guys. Okay, Alina, thank you. 621 now, still to come on Action News AM Live. The national retailer who's now selling a rock in a pouch for 85 bucks. Wait till you see it. Yeah, I wish I would have come up with that. Plus, the Anaconda Challenge. You'll hear from the man who took down a three and a half foot burrito in Fresno in less than 15 minutes. This portion of Action News is brought to you by Central Valley Community Bank. Posh Fresno. Elegance, quality, beauty, and customer service second to none. St. John Knits, made in America. Furs, dresses, formals. 100% cashmere coats and accessories. Exquisite designs, even custom made and custom dyed in any color, unique for you. Posh, now at Pavilion West, Bullard and West in Fresno. It's interesting having a sister who, who always finishes her sentences. We pretty much like the, the same kind of stuff. We share our food, our phones, our clothes. <laughs> well, some clothes. Stop taking my Uggs, those are mine. I want yours. You don't get all the Uggs, <laughs> as if. Feet for Life has one of the largest selections of Ugg boots in the Central Valley. Problem solved. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Feet for Life, in the Visalia Mall and online at feetforlifeshoes.com. Christmas list? Ugg, I'm down. Action News is on the gridiron. Friday night football. Cut from the Valley's biggest high school matchups. Scores, highlights, and analysis. The Valley's best coverage of high school football. Friday night football. Only on ABC 30 Action News. Sponsored by Me and Ed's Pizza. Me and Ed's, because the magic word is pizza. And right now, you can get a large three-topping pizza for just $11.95. We're here before dawn. We're here at midnight. We're here when life begins. And here when it ends. We spend hours training, bonding, and earning their trust. We are their voices, their allies, and their advocates, now and in the future. This is not just our job, it's our passion. We are Fresno Chaffee Zoo. I would highly recommend Personal Express, not only for the premiums that we pay and the money that we've saved on our auto and our home insurance, but just for the service. So I'm a mortgage loan officer and I have a lot of customers, it's their first time home buying. I refer them to Personal Express and they're always very excited about the premiums that they've been quoted and the service that they've received. 
now open in the Fig Garden Village. Okay, you guys ready? Anaconda challenge. You can do it, let's go! Oh, that's Pablo Martinez from Visalia. Chowing down on a three and a half foot long anaconda burrito from Taqueria Yorales right here in Fresno. That burrito is a viral sensation on social media. Well, Martinez finished the five pounder 13 minutes, eight seconds. By the way, he is actually a competitive eater. He's ranked 18th in the world in major league eating. Burritos are uh, my specialty, so I, I don't think I'll have a, an issue. Although this one's pretty long. This is probably the longest burrito that I've done. Oh my goodness, Pablo, the first person ever to eat the anaconda burrito all on his own. Now that burrito meant to be split between four or five people. I cannot believe this story. It's just, you know, it's blown up here in Fresno, in the valley. It's a national sensation. And now we've got competitive eating going on. Yeah, I, I, it was even on late night TV, this burrito. It was? Yeah. I was asleep during it. <laughs> all right. Now this morning, a lot of people are talking about a new item being sold by Nordstrom. All right, take a look here. It's a rock that sits inside a leather pouch. What? Okay, yeah, it'll cost you 85 bucks no for way. this. Nordstrom calls it the medium leather wrapped stone. The description on what it says is, quote, a paperweight, a conversation piece, a work of art, it's up to you. But this smooth Los Angeles area stone wrapped in rich vegetable tanned American leather is sure to draw attention wherever it rests, end quote. Again, it's yours for just 85 bucks. Why did I come up with this? I could be making millions here, or uh, maybe a thousand. Hey, well, whatever <laughs> makes money, I guess, right? All right, Action News time now, 626. In our next half hour, breaking news. The urgent search for a plane that went missing overseas. Also ahead, Man of the Year. The award handed down to President-elect Donald Trump just a little while ago. And why Vice President Joe Biden is hinting he may run against Trump in the next election. And I'm Vanessa Vasconcelos live at B-Sweet Citrus where harvest is underway. And let me tell you, production is just minutes away from starting. We're going to take you inside their production facility as well as how this year's crop looks. All right, thanks, Vanessa. But before we go, here's your first look at Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, IKEA is announcing a new hands-on option for its salaried and hourly employees at the company for over a year. At IKEA, we believe that everything you need should be within reach. The Scandinavian Superstore is offering up to four months of paid parental leave for, quote, both mothers and fathers and adoptive and foster parents. The goal is to ensure co-workers have the opportunity to bond with their children and connect as a new family. And everyone should have a place to call home. Based on their time at IKEA, employees will receive eight weeks full pay and another eight bonding with their new child at 50% pay. In the U.S., some workers are legally permitted to take up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave, but there's no federal mandatory paid leave policy. And we'll have more on the growing list of companies offering parental leave coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Diane Macedo. A chance for rain and snow. Find out when on AM Live. Good is in every Blue Diamond Almond. A good that comes in 20 flavors, from whole natural to wasabi and soy sauce. And once good gets going, there's no stopping it. Get your good going. Blue Diamond Almonds. Just press clean and let Roomba from iRobot help with your everyday messes. Roomba navigates your entire home, cleaning up pet hair and debris for up to two hours, which means your floors are always clean. You and Roomba from iRobot, better together. This is the diamond of her dreams. It's called Chosen by Jared. Hand-selected by Jared in its roughest form, shaped and crafted by Jared experts into the one diamond she'll wear forever. And Jared makes her diamond's journey part of your love story with a book of photographs documenting your diamond's creation. Chosen by Jared. A diamond with a journey only Jared could share. That's why he went to Jared. Community Medical Centers is building the one healthcare network to care for your family through all of life's stages. The network connecting 1,300 doctors with each other, with one of the nation's top medical schools, and with you. The one equipped to keep moms and babies together 
and the one more moms trust to care for their families. So when choosing who will care for your family, turn to the one. Community Medical Centers. One network, one community. This holiday, get an amazing deal during the Ford year-end event. Get special holiday lease offers across our entire lineup. All from Ford, America's most awarded brand, with the most five-star ratings and award-winning value from Kelly Blue Book. Giving drivers what matters most. That's how you become America's best-selling brand. Incredible lease offers have just been announced. Drive home a 2017 Fusion or Escape. Your choice, just $1.99 per month. See your California Ford dealer. Through three generations of family ownership, Lewis Diamond Company has become the expert in selecting top diamond qualities with the best value. If you're looking for that perfect gift or the engagement ring that will make her say yes, trust the friendly staff at Lewis Diamond Company. They will guide you through their wide selection of designer bridal rings and show you how wholesale plus pricing means you get more for your money. For style, love, and affordability, come to Lewis Diamond Company. Lewis Diamond Company, trusted, timeless quality. ABC 30 Action News AM Live starts now with 15 minutes of nonstop news. Happening now at 6.30, the death toll is expected to rise in Indonesia following a powerful earthquake that was triggered there. At least 97 people have been killed. Emergency officials believe some people are still trapped in the debris of collapsed buildings. The magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck the Aceh province earlier today. Officials say more than six dozen others were seriously hurt. Also happening here at 6.30, we're keeping a track of foggy conditions across the valley, including this shot from northeast Fresno. Yeah, a live look along Highway 168 from our Hedrick Chevrolet Skycam on Shaw, uh, Shaw Avenue. Normally, you can actually see all the traffic. You could see the freeway. It's so foggy, you can't right now. Yeah, you sure can't. And we do want to check on the roads this morning. Make, it, make sure to take it slow and plan for extra time as you're getting out there. We have live team coverage as we monitor the fog for you. We're going to check in with CHP Officer Justin Montooth in just a moment. But first, Alina Lee is standing by with our exclusive fog tracker. Alina? Yeah, that's right. There's definitely some foggy conditions out there right now. The fog is the thickest, mainly in the South Valley, and has been all morning long. But now, visibilities have been reduced to a couple of miles in the North Valley. So your dense fog advisory, that's still in effect across the Valley floor until 10 o'clock this morning. As we take a look at fog tracker, a closer look at the South Valley, visibility down near two and a half miles in Porterville, nine in Tulare, and a couple hundred feet even lower than that in Visalia, down to a quarter mile visibility in Hanford. In Fresno, you can see visibility just reduced down to less than a quarter of a mile there, four mile visibility in Madera, and now a mile and a half in the city of Merced, just coming in at that airport there. The fog could be even thicker just to the north and west of you if you live near that airport or even just the northern northeastern portion of Merced County. Looking at temperatures out the door, 35 in Fresno, 30 degrees in Hanford, and 31 in Lemoore and Madera. 34 right now in Merced. We will see much warmer temperatures return as we head through uh, late this week into next week, but rain returns as well. So we'll have those details coming up a little bit later. For now, we are going to send it over to CHP officer Justin Montooth to get a look at those roads. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Alina. Good morning, everyone. Let's go out to that live traffic tracker and take a look at your morning commute. I do have a couple crashes right now. First one's going to be here in Fresno, southbound 99 to eastbound 180 transition road. We had a solo vehicle that spun out and hit the guardrail on that uh, transition road there. So please uh, be careful. Watch out for those emergency vehicles if you're heading through there. The other one's going to be down in the Porterville area, State Route 190 at Westling Avenue. Uh, semi uh, truck versus a sedan in there. Uh, so please be careful. They are blocking the roadway. Watch out for uh, those emergency crews as well. Taking a live look here in Fresno, this is going to be uh, westbound 180, just west of the 99. As you can see, uh, traffic is light, but is moving at the speed limit. That's going to be a quick look at your traffic. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone to please limit those distractions and please don't text and drive. Amanda and Tony, back to you. Thanks so much, Justin, for that update. Well, the fog is not only dangerous for drivers, but also for local pilots. Low visibility could keep planes grounded again this morning for pilots at small airports in the valley like Fresno's Chandler Airport. The smaller airports don't have radar like at large airports, so pilots are basically flying blind, relying on instruments in the cockpit and their training to land. It's a very precision type flying, so everything's like nice, slow, smooth, and small, and you want to make sure that everything, you stay right side up on that airplane. On foggy mornings like today, pilots at the smaller airports are pretty much forced to just wait 
until the fog burns off before they can fly. We're tracking breaking news out of Pakistan. A plane with 47 people on board has crashed after it took off a few hours ago. It looks similar to this one you see here. Officials with Pakistan International Airlines say the crew lost communication with the tower control and now the wreckage has been found about 45 miles northwest of the capital city. There were no immediate details on casualties, but Pakistan's Interior Ministry dispatched a team with experts on identifying bodies through DNA tests. And developing news from Oakland. Investigators believe that deadly warehouse fire may have been sparked inside by a refrigerator. 36 people were killed at the artist collective known as the Ghost Ship. The coroner's office says they died from smoke inhalation. People who lived inside the building before it caught fire say it was full of clutter and the living conditions were terrible. The man who allegedly leased the building still doesn't have much to say about the hazards. Am I the man who should be held accountable? Did I build something that, with the, with the, I mean, what am I going to say to that? Officials spent the night clearing and removing debris. They don't believe there are any more victims inside the warehouse, but crews will start to knock down the walls of the building to make sure of it. Happening now, opening arguments will be made in a couple hours in Dylan Roof's federal death penalty trial. Roof is accused of killing nine black parishioners during a Bible study in Charleston, South Carolina last year. Roof faces 33 counts. 24 of them fall under two federal hate crime statuses, and 18 of them carry the death penalty. Roof's attorneys asked that the start of the trial be delayed. The judge rejected that request. Now to a story you'll only see on Action News. A woman is sharing video of a recent road rage incident in downtown Fresno. Margot Ortiz took this video Monday afternoon. She says she was getting off the 41 at the Tulare exit when a car ran into hers and took off. She says she followed the driver to get her information. The video picks up at a red light where she pulled up next to the suspect and her car. Both of them started yelling at me. One tried to flick a cigarette into my vehicle. It hit the back of my window. And um, she said, you cut me off. It was an accident. You know, if I cut you off, I'm sorry. But you, you actually hit me, and, and you need to pay for the damage. Ortiz says she didn't want to get out of her car, but wasn't willing to back down. So she told the woman to come to her. That's when the woman got out of her car and attacked her with a cane. Ortiz managed to grab it and get away without getting hurt. But investigators say you should never follow agitated drivers. Not a good idea. You know, people could have a gun or they're bigger than you and um, you challenge them, they come back and she's going to take care of business right with the cane. So not a good idea. Officials recommend writing down the license plate number, then calling police instead of confronting someone. Police are now working to identify the woman in the video. Happening now, U.S. and Japanese leaders are marking the anniversary of a day of infamy. It was 75 years ago today that the Navy base at Pearl Harbor was bombed. More than 2,400 Americans were killed in the attack, which led to the U.S. entering into World War II. The mayor of Nagaoka, Japan, will lay flowers at the main memorial event near Honolulu today. Nagaoka was the home of the Japanese admiral that led to the attack. The U.S. and Japan will hold a joint ceremony tomorrow as well. New this morning, Time Magazine has named President-elect Donald Trump its Person of the Year. He beat out Hillary Clinton, who was the runner-up. The news came out earlier this morning, just hours after Trump's latest stop on his Thank You Victory Tour. He's also blasting the airline company Boeing for the cost of a new Air Force One. Let's go live to ABC's Karen Travers with new details on the President-elect. Karen, good morning. Hey, good morning, Tony. It was surprising that Donald Trump, out of nowhere, went on attack against one of America's biggest companies. But after some digging, that tweet and his public comments yesterday about aircraft uh, company Boeing seemed to be a response to the company's CEO. Joining Donald Trump on his victory lap, his choice to lead the Pentagon, retired Marine General James Mattis. The American people are fortunate that a man of this character and integrity will now be the civilian leader atop the Department of Defense. Under Earlier Tuesday, leadership. Trump blasted American aircraft manufacturing giant Boeing. First on Twitter, Boeing is building a brand new 747 Air Force One for future presidents, but costs are out of control, more than $4 billion. Cancel order. Program. And later at and, Trump uh, Tower. I think it's ridiculous. I think Boeing is 
doing a little bit of a number. The attacks seemed to come out of the blue, except Trump's tweet came about an hour after Boeing's CEO was quoted criticizing the president-elect's rhetoric on trade in China. For now, there's no $4 billion deal, but Boeing has been tapped to produce two new planes to replace the aging aircraft. The Pentagon projects the cost for the new planes could be upwards of $3 billion. And is it too soon to talk about 2020? Vice President Joe Biden getting a lot of questions after indicating this week he would consider a run for the White House. And on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert Tuesday night, Biden again refused to completely rule out a bid. Never say never. You don't know what's going to happen. I mean, hell, Donald Trump's going to be 74. I'll be 77 in better shape. I mean, how about that? <laughs> Vice President Biden says he doesn't regret his decision not to run, that it was the best one for his family, but he also said that he believes he was best prepared to lead the country right now. Reporting live from Washington, Karen Travers, Action News AM Live. Amanda, Tony. All right, thanks so much, Karen, for that live report from Washington. Well, we're coming up on 640 this morning, and let's take you out live to the South Valley. Our Kawea Delta Medical Center, Skycam and Visalia. Normally, you can see the downtown area, and that's what I think it is right now, but... It is so foggy out there. Yeah, in fact, there are foggy day school schedules. You want to look at the bottom of your screen to check to see if your school's affected. Alina Lee tracking some cold and hazy conditions on top of the fog. Alina? That's right, Tony and Amanda. Definitely very foggy out there this morning. The dense fog advisor is still in effect because visibility could be reduced to a quarter of a mile or even lower than that. And that's what we have out there right now, especially here in Fresno. Visibility just above a tenth of a mile, less than that in Visalia basically down to 500 feet or even lower in some spots by or Hanford dealing with a quarter of a mile visibility, two and a half in Porterville, four in Madera, now down to half a mile visibility in the city of Merced, just coming in out of the airport there. Otherwise, just to the north and west of that area, you can even see some denser fog. Temperatures out the door still in the 30s in many locations with one exception, two I should say. One already in the upper 20s, 29 degrees in Merced at this time, 42 in Porterville, quite the difference from the north and south valley. 31 degrees right now in Madera and Lemoore, 30 in Hanford. Looking at satellite and radar, watching those clouds increase throughout the day, we will see partly to mostly cloudy skies as we head through the afternoon. And Futurecast does show that up until 11 o'clock this morning. A chance for some snow showers in the higher elevations today, and a better chance even lower towards 8,000 feet, perhaps even towards 7,500 feet. As we head through tomorrow morning, waking up to some scattered light rain across the valley floor, that rain chance continuing through the afternoon and early evening hours. And even another shot of rain is possible through Friday, perhaps even into Saturday. Your valley forecast today, low to mid 50s, clouds increasing. And looking at the foothills, partly to mostly cloudy skies, low to mid 50s for your temperatures. And in the Sierra, expecting rain and snow showers late, otherwise temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. All right, your seven day forecast now, 57 tomorrow afternoon, warming to near 60 by Friday. And there's a slight chance for some showers on Saturday morning, otherwise dry and partly sunny on Sunday. Upper 50s for your high temperatures, then warming to the low 60s as early as Tuesday. So well above average as we head through the next several days. All right, Tony, Amanda, back to you. All right, Alina, thank you. We're now reaping the rewards of our valley climate, both the sunshine and the cold. That's right. Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos is live in Fowler at B-Suite Citrus to tell us all about the harvest season underway. Good morning, Vanessa. Hey, good morning, Amanda, Tony. I've got to tell you, the holidays aren't the only reason we can be excited about winter. It is right now peak season for citrus harvest. We're live at B Sweet Citrus here in Fowler, and we have production that is just about to get started right now. Here is where they pack more than 20 different varieties of citrus. And uh, joining me now, we have Scott Woods. He's the director of field operations. Scott, tell me, what's your specialty? Well, um, what I do for B-Suite is run the cr harvest crews, uh, look at fruit quality and do the fruit estimates and uh, get that information to production and sales so uh, we know what we have out there. And I see you're holding a navel orange right now. Uh, tell me a little bit about how growers are able to kind of capitalize on this early season start. Yeah, we're in the, the peak of the navel season right now. Um, we started back in October and uh, we're in full production now. Um, but it's been a good maturity year. The fruit's been eating good, uh, so we were able to start early, and uh, the quality's been good so far. Now, B-Sweet has been here in the Central Valley since 1987. What's something that you want to tell people just about how they're making a name for the Valley? You know, it's, um, it's, it's great to work for a company like this that um, you know, it takes care of its employees and um, produces just quality. They take pride in what they produce. And, um, it, you know, it just, uh, 
makes you feel good. And I know we can find that quality all over the world, actually. So tell me a little bit about what's happening here. They're packing to ship where? Yeah, well, these will probably be, this actually here will be like domestic bags. Okay. Um, but this is uh, our naval line, so we'll start here in a few minutes running navels. And, uh, but we do, we, we ship to Korea, um, Japan, China, Australia. So. And I see that you're chopping up some breakfast for us this morning. Are we going to get a taste? Sure. <laughs> Tell me, uh, so this is the navel orange. What separates it or what is well, distinct is, about this it? This is be, you know, basically your, your citrus staple. This is the, the kind of the, the one that started it all. Um, but we do have uh, every variety here. Um, but I tell you, there's probably nothing it eats better than a Washington Naval in December and January. I, I've got so. to agree with you. I just tasted it right now. It is delicious. All right, thank you so much, Scott. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you in studio. Reporting live from Fowler, where I am having the breakfast of champions, Vanessa Vasconcelos, Action News AM Live. All right, thanks so much, Vanessa. Looks like a sweet, uh, you know, experience this morning. That's what I love about the Valley <laughs> Citrus. Action News Time 645, coming up next on AM Live, the hearing on Capitol Hill this morning over an $85 billion cable company merger. Plus, we're monitoring Wall Street for you this morning. Right now, pretty much flat, just up four points. We'll tell you what's impacting those numbers in a live report from New York City. Action News is sponsored by Clovis Glass. It's the season of giving, and that means more winning with Table Mountain Casino's $900,000 anniversary celebration giveaway. You could win one of four brand new Mercedes Benz, earn entries Monday through Thursday for our weekly drawings, and you could win cash, gifts, or the keys to a brand new Mercedes Benz. Experience the joy of winning with the $900,000 anniversary celebration only at Table Mountain Casino. Pacific Treasures and Gourmet is the ultimate store for chefs. Cookware, dinnerware, and every type of kitchen utensil. Plus, they're the exclusive retailer of Le Creuset Cookware in Visalia. Gourmet food items make a great gift basket. Candles and aromatherapy create an atmosphere of comfort in any home. You'll even find fun, practical baby toys and clothing. Gorgeous gift wrapping is our gift to you from the happiest store in town. Merry Christmas from Pacific Treasures in beautiful downtown Visalia. Coming up, Elena Lee with the exclusive Stormborn 30 forecast, the fastest, most powerful weather tracking system in Central California. The year-end inventory reduction is on now at Future Ford of Clovis. Every pre-owned Ford, Chevy, Honda, and Toyota will be sold at the year's best prices. And get 1.9% APR financing for 72 months. Your best deals of the year are today at Future Ford of Clovis or futurefordclovis.com 24-7. In the past, diabetes was a disease that seemed to come out of nowhere and steal your life away. Insulin shots, glucose testing, medications, even death. You just had to live with it. But that was the past, because now those days are gone. Fresno is leading the country in scientific and surgical breakthroughs, opening new doors with life-changing results. Metabolic surgery is changing everything we know about diabetes. And now, now there's hope. Learn more at riseabove.net. Right now at Sleep Train, get up to four years interest-free financing on a Beautyrest Black Hybrid mattress. Save $300 on Beautyrest or choose $300 in free gifts with Tempur-Pedic. The triple choice sale ends soon at Sleep Train. The year-end inventory reduction is on now at Future Ford of Clovis. Every pre-owned Ford, Chevy, Honda, and Toyota will be sold at the year's best prices. And get 1.9% APR financing for 72 months. Your best deals of the year are today at Future Ford of Clovis or futurefordclovis.com 24-7. Okay, America, you looking for the best Christmas cookie this year? Huh, us too. Guys, those are for set, please. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, Look over geez. there, Fonzie. This month, GMA's on the search for the perfect cookie. Could it be yours? This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live with Amanda Venegas, Tony Cabrera, and Alina Lee with the Stormborn 30 forecast. Action News Time 648. In business news, a major merger and job losses at an amusement park as stocks are flat on Wall Street. Yeah, Chloe Malas is live at the NASDAQ market site in New York City for us, monitoring those numbers. Good morning, Chloe. 
Good morning, Tony and Amanda. So investors are looking to see if the post-election rally can continue. The Dow closed at an all-time high yesterday, and right now stocks have little changed, and the NASDAQ and S&P are also a little lower. Now, the CEOs of AT&T and Time Warner will try and sell their $85 billion merger to lawmakers today. The executives will appear before a Senate antitrust panel. Now, some lawmakers and public interest groups have criticized the deal. And that includes President-elect Donald Trump, who has said that the proposed merger concentrates too much power in the hands of too few. This deal would combine the second largest U.S. telecom company with Time Warner's media brands, which includes CNN. Moving on, SeaWorld is cutting jobs after a drop in attendance. More than 300 positions will be eliminated at the company's 12 theme parks. The job cuts are part of a plan to cut costs by $65 million. Attendance at SeaWorld parks, though, was down by almost half a million people in the first six months of the year. Back to you guys. For that live report there from New York City. All right, time now for traffic and weather together on this Wednesday, and it's a little foggy out there. Yeah, sure is. Foggy day school schedules. Check it at the bottom of your screen as Alina gives us a look in our Storm Warren 30 Center. Hey, Alina. Hey there, Tony Amanda. Yes, there is some fog out there. It's very thick, especially in the South Valley. Looking at visibility below uh, just a quarter of a mile in Fresno, less than that in Visalia, down near a couple hundred feet, and just a quarter mile visibility in Hanford, half a mile visibility in Merced, and just about two and a half mile visibility right now in Porterville. So yes, the fog is thick out there everywhere across the valley floor, and it is cold. The temperature right now in Merced, 29 degrees, 31 in Madera, 35 in Fresno, and 42 in Porterville. Looking at your forecast for today, look for highs in the low to mid-50s across the valley floor, increasing clouds with a chance for rain late tonight. That's your tonight forecast showing you upper 30s to low 40s. A few showers may be possible, especially in the North Valley as we head through the overnight hours. Looking at your seven-day forecast, 57 tomorrow afternoon with most Mostly cloudy skies and some light rain possible, some scattered light rain that is. And showers will continue through for your Friday, perhaps into your Saturday morning. Otherwise dry and warm as we head through early next week. All right, now we're going to get a check of those roadways with CHP officer Justin Montooth with a look at those uh, the traffic this morning. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Alina. Good morning, everyone. Let's go to that live traffic tracker and take a look at your morning commute. I do have a crash from earlier down the Visalia area, Avenue 144 at Road 112. We have a vehicle versus a semi-truck. Looks like there may be some injuries involved and it is foggy in the area, so please uh, use some caution if you're heading through there. Watch out for those emergency vehicles. Moving up to a wide shot of the Fresno area, the 99, 180, 168, and 41 are all in the green right now. Looks like traffic is moving smoothly throughout the Fresno area. We do have the, that uh, dense fog in effect, so please uh, keep that in mind. You may want to leave a little early, uh, get yourself into work a little, uh, or give yourself a little extra time to get into work this morning. We're taking a live look outside, this is going to be southbound 99 at Belmont Avenue. As you can see, that traffic is moving at the speed limit. That's a quick look at your traffic. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone to please limit those distractions and please don't text and drive. Amanda and Tony, back to you. All right, Justin, thank you. Action News Time 652, next on AM Live, five things you need to know before you go. Including celebrating another victory, a new honor bestowed upon President-elect Donald Trump. Action News is sponsored by the Disabled American Veterans. Brian Kenyon, disabled veteran and Sanger school teacher, uses a segue given to him by the DAV Charities Thrift Stores to stay active in his community. With your donations, the goods sold at our two Fresno locations can continue to provide services that improve Valley veterans' lives. Donating is easy. Simply schedule a pickup and our friendly staff will collect your donations. Visit DAVCharities.com to schedule your pickup today. Here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup on ABC 30. Brought to you by Chuck Chansey Gold Resort and Casino. It's the Lazy Boy Two Great Chairs event. Get two great chairs for one low price. It's your choice. Match them up or mix it up with pairs starting from only $5.99 plus special financing. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Crispy bacon. Canadian bacon. Pepper bacon. I love you, bacons. Papa Murphy's Large Bacon 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 Pizza. Just $11 and save even more when you order at PapaMurphy's.com. Love at 425 degrees.
Be the jolliest Santa. Give your friends, family, and customers a gift grown in the Central Valley from Circle K Ranch. Since 1946, our family has been selling high-quality, homegrown gift packs, baskets, and tins filled to the brim with delicious assortments of candy-coated items, dried fruits and nuts, hand-packed and festively wrapped. Celebrate your holiday season this year with a locally grown gift from our family at Circle K Ranch. Our country store is open daily on Manning Avenue, right off Highway 99. Visit online anytime at CircleKRanch.com. A Phoenix was the best decision I ever made. There are some things diet and exercise can't change. I did a lot of research. The results that I saw on the Athenix website were unbelievable. The before and afters made me excited to get it done. You can have the body you want if you contact Athenix now for a free consultation. When I saw my reflection, I was overcome with happiness and confidence. Go to athenixbody.com. Check out the amazing before and after pictures. Then contact Athenix for a free consultation. Find your Ugg fall fashion now at Village Shoes. New styles, new colors, and of course your favorite classic short and talls. Visit villageshoesfresno.com or like us on Facebook. Ugg from Village Shoes, near Macy's in River Park and on the northwest corner of Bulletin West in Fresno. Action News Time now, 6.54. The first thing you need to know before you go, Time Magazine has named President-elect Donald Trump its Person of the Year. Mr. Trump is currently on his victory tour, visiting the swing states that help him win the White House. He's also blasting Boeing for the cost of a new Air Force One. Number two, investigators believe that deadly fire in Oakland may have been sparked from inside a refrigerator. 36 people were killed at the ghost ship warehouse. The coroner's office is saying they died from smoke inhalation. Number three, the death toll is expected to rise in Indonesia following a powerful 6.5 magnitude earthquake. At least 97 people have been killed. More than six dozen others were seriously hurt. Number four, a road rage incident caught on camera has Fresno police looking for a female driver who attacked another woman with a cane. It happened after a crash in downtown Fresno where the victim followed the suspect. Police say if you're ever in this situation, don't follow anyone. Take down the license plate and call 911. And number five, U.S. and Japanese leaders are marking the anniversary of a day of infamy. It was 75 years ago today that the Navy base at Pearl Harbor was bombed. More than 2,400 Americans were killed in the attack, which led to the U.S. entering into World War II. And one final look at our weather as we're seeing some foggy day school schedules. Pretty thick out there. Definitely some dense fog out there. Still under that advisory until 10 a.m. You can see a closer look at the South Valley visibility down near 9 miles in Tulare. Quarter mile visibility in Hanford, less than that in Visalia. And roughly around 2.5 mile visibility now in Porterville. I think we're taking a live look from the roads with our uh, hands-free uh, dash cam network. And you can see here it's pretty thick out there, that fog. And now taking another look at that fog tracker where you can see visibility down near about a tenth of a mile in Fresno, three quarters of a mile in Merced, and it looks like that fog will lift heading into the afternoon. We'll be in the low 50s with some rain on the way. All right, so people might want to plan a little bit, leave a little early as they head to work or school today. Definitely. All right, thanks so much, Elena. Well, that does it for us on this Wednesday. Good Morning America's next. Don't forget to download the ABC 30 News app for the latest local news and weather anytime. Have a great morning. See you tomorrow.